time and typically we'd have normally had to leave just before rush hour wouldn't we so yeah, that's why we we've well. yeah we left at like half one two was it like two by the time we got on the oh, phone. um so yeah we thought we wouldn't risk it get down here a little bit earlier get ourselves a nando's and at least we're around the area um and hopefully we won't hit any traffic and be delayed for our flight so yeah first long haul flight together First two weeks. First two week holiday two as well. Week Normally we only do a week. What's the longest we've done? Is it like a week? A week. Or ten days? No, we haven't no, done we ten, days. ten days. So yeah. Just up for two weeks, well, isn't it? Will I will I be able to put up with you for two weeks on holiday? I'm thinking the that same. That is the question. I'm thinking the same, brother. <laughs> in times ahead, guys. I feel like with this vlog, I'm probably gonna split it up in a couple of parts because it, yeah, otherwise we'll be here for about five days. Literally. <laughs> yeah, time to check in. Time to check in, baby. Is that it? No, board. Board. <laughs> time We've to still board. Got that one. The airboy. Oh, that's a debris. It's maybe that would have been better. The sweets. Just went and got us some uh, Christmas tree there. Some shackles to the plane. Obviously, even though we get food on the plane, I just always feel like you need. Just some schnackles and you. No, you just need some schnackles and you back. Yeah. I'm someone that if I'm watching like a movie on the time. plane. I need some schnackles. To be fair, we're gonna try and get sleep on this first flight. So obviously we've got one of two flights, so we get to Doha, have an hour and a half break to get the next flight, and then it's another six hours. Forty. Or fifty. Fifty. One six hour fifty, isn't it? Mm. So yeah, shakes and waffles. we worked out if we um, have a sleep on the first flight, keep awake on the second flight, and then when we get there, it's like seven o'clock, and then we can go to bed. We shouldn't be too bad. Fucking bed. Well, what are we doing when we get there? Oh my god, there's our airplane. Is it real? Yeah, look, it's all. You're not even going to be able to see that, guys. I'm so excited. someone that has just got off a 14 hour flight i am exhausted and i feel so hot as well because i'm in a massive tracksuit and even though we've got the aircon on oh my god the humidity is wild isn't it it's 
Tomatoes. How, how I like, I know everyone always says to you, like it's humid, but you don't I get it. In a, uh, you sauna, you it? don't get it until you, you actually are reminded of how humid a place can be. Anyway, we've just got to our resort. We are staying in the Bang, is it Bang Tao Beach area in Phuket. Bang Tao, yeah. Um, basically with Phuket, I know it gets quite a bad rep and a lot of people are like, oh Phuket, like don't enjoy it, didn't like it. And obviously we haven't been to like the main touristy part yet. And that's one reason why we didn't stay in the main touristy part. So Mitchell was speaking to some guy that lives in Phuket. Um, I think he does TikTok videos, doesn't he? And that's yeah, how he yeah. got speaking to him. But anyway, long story short, when we was booking Phuket, um, he asked him like, what was the best area to stay in? And he was like, avoid, is it Bangla Road, that area? Bang Tao Beach, you were saying. Isn't no, it? but he said avoid staying near Bangalore. Yeah, it's a bit hectic. Yeah, he said it's a bit hectic there. Stay at Bang Tao Beach, it's a lot nicer. And to be honest with you, when we were driving just through it, it seemed so much more like upmarket and seemed some really nice restaurants compared to like where else we were driving through. So, yeah, anyway, let me just quickly do a room tour. We're saying that the Diamond Resort Hotel it is stunning. First impression, so clean, really nice. Um, so, yeah, let me give you a room tour. God, I look so hot. <laughs> Okay, so this is our room. Just gonna do a very quick room tour. Um, so it's very spacious. You've got a kitchenette area, a fridge freezer. Um, the fridge actually has two bottles of water in and the lady was saying that they get refilled every day, like you get two more bottles every day. So that's really nice to know. Got a little seating area. Storage, storage area over here. Um, there's glasses. It's really like nice stocks. Mm kind of like kitchenette area, isn't it really? Um, kettle, toaster, microwave. Is it classed as an apartment or an hotel? I feel like it's like an apart hotel almost, isn't it? Because mm. you've got, you could yeah. actually cook here. You've got a hob and everything. Um, so yeah, yeah, seating area to eat maybe, but we'll, we'll be eating out. Um, nice little sofa, TV area. This leads onto a balcony. It's really dark outside, so can't show you an awful lot. Job, yeah. yeah. Palm tree. But we have got oh, a pool view. Tree, that's bloody massive. So yeah, it looks lovely. Back. God, it's so hot when you open that door, isn't it? No, I, do, I believe this is just a window. Um, then this actually sections off, so this is quite cool. And then you come in to the bedroom, which again, really clean, really spacious, really nice. Um, and again, we've got a double wardrobe there. And yeah, this isn't a balcony here. It's just. Oh, is it just a window. I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just a window. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice though, isn't it? First impressions. Yeah, well nice. Um, Do you know what? We booked this that long ago. I forgot what it was like. And it wasn't that expensive from what I remember. I don't feel like we paid a lot, did well, we? I think it was about 40 a night. So. 40 a night. Oh, that's so cheap. Anyway, I we're waiting for our luggage actually because the lady said she'd bring it up. I'm sweating, so I'm desperate to get out of it and get something cooler on. What are we going to do? Should we go 7 Eleven? Yeah, POA, I think, on our agenda is obviously. We're not really that tired. Are we? Your phones don't. Well, we've been sleeping on the flight. <laughs> your phones obviously don't work. Um, I mean, we've got Wi Fi, but I don't know. You've been researching this with your SIM card? Yeah, they rip you off at the airport. Yeah. 7 Eleven is the place you're supposed to go. But, oh, that's a good point. You, do you want to have a little look? Apparently, there's a place you can do it on the. All right, well, we're gonna have a look yeah. how to sort our phones out and then, um, yeah, I'll pick up the camera soon. We're on our way to 7 Eleven, I'm literally just walking around all these back streets because we don't even have a SIM card yet, like our phones don't work. We need to make sure that we know what way to go back to the hotel. Well, to be fair, as long as we get to 7 Eleven, then we'll be fine on the way back. Yeah, because we'll have SIM card and the internet. Um, but yeah, set it all up. <laughs> let me show you where we currently are. Back streets of Phuket. Good morning everyone. Hello from our first morning in Thailand. Definitely feeling a little bit better now. We've had a sleep. So as you live saw, last night we literally just got straight to the hotel. It wasn't till about eight-ish by the time we got to the hotel. Put our bags down, went to try and sort a SIM card out, um, but then I don't know if I updated you, but in the end we ended up just downloading an app. I will leave the app. <sighs> On yeah, screen, good, good idea, wasn't it? on screen, what it's called, um, just in case any of you are going to Thailand. My throat is so dry. I've just had some water to try and um, make it feel a little bit better. I think it's the aircon that always does me. So maybe, maybe I have to turn that off. But it's so hard because it's also so humid and warm, and you need it on. But yeah, anyway, we went to the Seven Eleven to try and get a SIM card because we saw people like say to do that. But then when we got there, they was like, you need your passport. Luckily, I had photos of our passports on my phone. But then, I don't really know. Like, obviously, she couldn't really speak much English. She was trying to type her passport number in. And 
I guess, register the SIM card and it just wouldn't work. But Mitchell had also saw something where you can just basically download an app. <coughs> It's and just do it an that way. E -SIM, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's just an eSIM. So we did that when we got back to the hotel. Sat in the hotel, hotel, hotel bar, and had a couple of drinks. Um, and yeah, we're all sorted with the phone so now. We're all good to go. Yeah, happy hour. It was all right, wasn't it? Nine like, till ten, was it? The drinks were so strong, though. Yeah, you felt pissed after the first one. I, I had one drink, and I was like, I feel drunk. I don't know whether it's because of we've not Different measures really had a lot to eat them. or. It definitely was strong. The first sip, I was like, "Whoa, you can taste alcohol in this." So, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to watch the alcohol measures over here, um, and probably just, yeah, keep it to a minimum because I don't want to be feeling super drunk after one drink. Um, but yeah, anyway, today POA is well. Let me know, guys. I got woken up at 5 a.m. today by this guy over here. Here's me like, oh, let's just try and adapt to the time. Just wake up at a normal time, five o'clock. Here we go. I wanted to go to the big Buddha by sunrise, but we didn't get to. <laughs> no, that wasn't the first thing you then, said. No, I did want to do that, but that was like a last minute thing. That wasn't the reason why you woke me up at five o'clock. The reason you woke me up at five o'clock was because you was wide awake and starving and hungry, so I you was thought you'd wake me up. Starving. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, peer away today. We're gonna go to Big Buddha. Then I think we're gonna go to like a beach along yeah, we'll the beach. Yeah, we'll go find a beach somewhere and, and just relax. Move. It's way too hot for makeup, so this is gonna be my appearance for daytime during at Thailand because yeah, already I can just tell you it's too humid and muggy. And to be fair, I feel like yeah, it's gonna be too hot to wear makeup at night time, but obviously yeah, I'll make a I'll make a bit more of an effort for you guys at night time. But yeah, definitely during the daytime it is a ma no makeup kind of vibe because as soon as you walk out, do you know that feeling where like your skin feels sticky and you just feel hot? It's literally that like is, walking into a sauna. Yeah, that's how it is. Anyway, over and out, um what, we're gonna go get a smoothie. Yeah, I don't know what to I'm do. I'm starving as well. I, I might do a I breakfast. I really though. fancy on them smoothies. Let's Basically, go. we saw a little place. I don't even know how you describe it. No. <laughs> it was just like a little shack next to the hotel. And there was some people in there just serving smoothies and stuff. And they looked amazing. And I think they were like a pound. Was it like a pound each? I think it was less than that. Or 50. Yeah, they were so cheap. And they looked so good. So, here we go. Ready for your adventure. You done your hair today? Yeah, yeah. they're nice. Just makes a change from seeing you with that bloody hat stuck to your head all the time. <laughs> let's go catch the sun. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Isn't it? We're just on the way to the Big Buddha. The taxi driver actually said to us, um, he was so lovely, bless him, honestly, yeah. everyone's so friendly here. They are, I don't know if it's because we're from Leicester. <laughs> no, I don't think he even knew we were from Leicester. Oh, the Leicester. Well, anyway, he was like, there's a really nice temple on the way called Chlong Temple. I hope, I'm hopefully saying that right. Oh my God, I'm so glad we stopped off here. It is stunning. Yeah. How beautiful is it? The buildings here are just another, another level. Just, yeah. There's a lot of work going on, so I'm sorry if it's a little noisy, but anyway, let me flip you around and show you these buildings. I feel like if you come into Big Buddha, definitely stop here and have a little look because it's stunning. So obviously they're all temples. Um, as you can, can you see like everyone's shoes obviously off? Because people must be in there. And then the gardens are just so pretty as well. There's just everywhere you look is like different temples, yeah. isn't there? I guess they, they all must do different things. So, so pretty. so handy so we are currently at the big buddha it is 
beautiful. I feel like the views as well from here, it's so nice. Mm. Um, it actually has worked out really well for us with the taxi guy. He's been so helpful, hasn't yeah. he? So I'd probably recommend getting someone that's going to stay because I feel like, how would you get down otherwise? You'd probably get a taxi down there, which would cost a fortune. You'd have to, yeah. Um, so basically, he's going to wait in the car park for us while we just see the big Buddha and just explore around here. And then he's taken us to... Where are we going next? Patong Beach. Patong Beach. Just have a look around there. Um, but yeah, let me flip you around and just show you because it's so, so pretty. So, here we have the big Buddha in all its glory. Are you are David Attenborough. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I wish I could tell you some facts about this, but unfortunately, I do not know. Do you know anything about this? No, we can research afterwards. Okay, though. yeah. Maybe we, maybe we should have researched first. I have just bought one of these little gold love heart tags from the shops over there. Oh, you could have wrote on probably the other side of it as well, babe. Oh no, people haven't. Um, anyway, just put a little note. Laura Mitchell engaged. My L went completely wrong because I was on the wrong side of the pen. But there we go. Do you there want to do the honours? There forever. There forever. I mean, I bet they take them off at some point. Do you reckon? Oh God. Yay! There we are. We're there forever. the rest of the day i feel like there's bits and bobs i want to do i mean it's just trying to plan our days out anyway we just going for a loop, yeah we just want to see a bit of everything so i know that people say that this is not the nicest area of phuket obviously we want to come and see it so yeah we're just currently walking down we're coming here tomorrow night as well yeah we're going to actually tomorrow experience night, the night so it's supposed to be absolute chaos we're going to experience the night tomorrow here but i'm sorry i can't even speak my throat so scratch it do like from the airport? Don't you scratch it here? No, I feel like I'm going to... Basically, um, we're walking to Patong Beach now. I've also seen a little cafe place with the smoothies and things. It's basically nice. We might stop there and get a smoothie, oh, shake, a maybe a nice coffee. Don't really know what to yeah, do. Yeah, I'll take a latte. Um, and then, yeah, I think we should find a beach and just chill for a bit. What about yeah, you? Nice yeah, I'm happy Let's see what this is saying, isn't it? I last picked up the vlog but it's actually been a bit of a washout this afternoon it all of a sudden just started hammering it down and to be honest with you it didn't really improve since then but looking at the weather forecast this i feel like will be the worst day um because it did say like 90 percent rain for the majority of the afternoon whereas if you look at the days going ahead it's kind of like 40 50 and i always feel like in thailand if it shows 40 to 50 on the weather forecast that practically means sure, sure. yeah oh, it's just sun in this puddle. anyway so yeah we just kind of we was around the pool for a bit because we're thailand like it's just so random the weather like it can be raining one minute and then sun's out for an hour yeah, it's hot around the pool, isn't it? yeah so we being, went around the pool for an hour mitchell went in the pool and then i just sat and did some medicine which was nice got a bit of work done 
then what did we do? Oh yeah, we had some food at the hotel, which was really nice. Yeah, just a little bit of lunch. You had the famous pad thai, didn't you? Love the pad thai. Thought I'd try the hotel was pad thai. So I had that Michelada burger, which was delicious as well, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was so nice, wasn't it? Yeah, really, really nice. It? McDonald's burger or something. I don't know. Um, and then yeah, basically just went up to the room, chilled for the rest of the afternoon. It's not a lot you can do, can it? Can you? When no. it's like chucking it down. We've been out since like half six, seven. Yeah, to be fair, we'd had. So we just wanted to relax. We did have an early start, um, and I'm really glad for the early start. To be fair, because when we got we up, got the it best was, of the weather. Didn't yeah, we? we got the best of the weather by getting up so early. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we are now trekking to Bang Tao area. We've not actually like walked right into this area yet where all the like hustle no. bustle and food bits are but we drove past it and it looked beautiful didn't yeah, it? Yeah it looked amazing. So yeah it's a little bit wet everywhere not gonna lie. I've got this dress on from what's it called Sister Stories? Six Stories. Six, six Stories that's it. So nice and I've just got some white flip flops on. Uh, it's not like it's a heel. Game, it? Yeah, yeah, it's a travelling vibe, isn't it? You can't really dress up. These people working on this time this of like night. Can you see? <coughs> anyway, we're going to eat tonight. We're, we're on a moving Christmas tree. <laughs> you enjoying it? Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? We should have rented one of these out. I once felt I'm done with the defense Draw back and climb over your fence Hide to show, show you that I was <laughs> Soon enough, everything started to change Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own Morning from a little bit worse, worse, what's it, worse to wear? Yeah, worse for wear? Don't know, anyway, worse, worse for wear. Worse we're, we're, we're hanging basically this morning. It was a little spontaneous night out. What happened? Well, what started is going to watch the football. There was a nice bar across the road that I quite, quite liked, had some really good music on. So I said, let's go for one, but we ended up staying for three or four. Yeah, and then ended up walking to Burger King. That was a good. At the end of the night, oh my god, Burger King is so good over here. I don't normally eat Burger King. No. But yeah, so we didn't get nice. basically we didn't get up till ten o'clock today. But I said to Mitchell, do you know what? Like we're on holiday, we we never lie in and do things like that, do we? No, I'm so, too. And it was Saturday night, so yeah. And also the sun's not out today, so it's not like that. Oh, Black Cat restaurant. Yeah, anyway, we took a little walk down the road from our hotel. We could do another cold drink. I know, and there's this really nice little, little like, yeah, like restaurant complex. I think we drove past this when we was coming from the airport, didn't we? Yeah. And I remember it was, it was all lit up. Yeah, it's got like fairy lights and stuff at night time. It looked so pretty. Um, so yeah, the just, food just thought I'd show you this area. Yeah, I'll... How do you say that babe? Gaucho? 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 That's it, isn't it? Steakhouse. Yeah. I bet that's so nice. It's a bit, um, bit spendy though. Yeah, I can that's imagine that's a more expensive right. restaurant. So yeah, some nice restaurants around here. We are off to a little cafe, are we? Yeah, Bartels. Bartels. Look quite nice. Um, we drink loads of cold drinks. I know. I think, do you know like, when you've been out and had a few to drink, I'm sure people can relate the next day. You're just so thirsty, I could just drink gallons of water. So we actually just had, you'll have saw because I did did show on the vlog, but obviously just didn't speak. Um, outside of a hotel, there's just this little lady and she has like a little, like... Shack? Shack, yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Um, and she does like all fresh smoothies. So today we tried the mango one, oh, it was so it was good. So good. So Hundred bar for two, which is two pounds twenty. A pound for a fresh. Yeah. 
like smoothie shake. Oh my goodness, it was so nice. good. Oh, Just what we needed. Out. I know it's a bit chaotic around here. <laughs> There's no paths though, is there, to walk on? No. So it's just like you have to walk on the road. It's yeah, it's bizarre. Anyway, up. What? Oh my goodness, they have a boot us over here. Didn't expect that one. There you go. Slice of England. <laughs> so yeah, even though it's not raining today, it's still it's dry, but it's so warm. Yeah, me and Mitchell was just saying it's probably a bit of a blessing that the sun isn't out. Because like if the sun's out, we'll be dead. Yeah, do you know, just walking around, it'd be too hot. Yeah, yeah it's hot now. <laughs> um, anyway, look at all these amazing fruit like places. Yeah, there's loads of them. Oh, there's so much fresh fruit over here, don't they? Yeah. I mean, not that we don't in England, but you don't see all these like stalls all around the roads, do you? It's amazing. Okay, so our food has finally arrived. It was a little bit of a wait. It's such a popular place, isn't it? So we are out of our tails. It's such a nice little coffee shop and it does food as well. Is that nice? Really? Is it good? I've gone for an acai bowl. I've never actually had one, but I just fancy something cold. Oh my God, I feel how cold that is. Yeah, it's like a smoothie. Oh, it looks so good. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a Okay, so we are trying to get to the beach and we basically came to a bit of a dead end. We've come to the hotel that we dreamt of coming to. Yeah, it's so expensive. I can see why this is absolutely beautiful. If budget is not a not, not, it wasn't not an, really issue. an issue for us, was well, no, it? We but it was just that we, it, but we just didn't want to spend £500 a night or whatever it is here. I mean, how much was it, babe? I think it was about 300 quid a night. Yeah, so it's not... It's a bit different to the 50 we paid. Yeah, it, it was, that's like 300 quid is... I don't think it's that bad for somewhere like this, but... Yeah, but for somewhere that you're not going to spend a lot of time because you're traipsing around the island. That's the thing, that's why we didn't book, but to be fair, I think I would have spent all day around it. It's so... Beautiful. Time for the taste test review, coffee connoisseur. Yeah, coffee oh my god. Nice. Taste yeah. that. Mm, that's strong coffee. Very nice though. Nice and creamy, isn't it? We have just come to a place called Nomad. We are on Bangtao Beach. Oh my goodness. Good job of living in there. Yeah, we're at Bangtao Beach today. Just took a walk down here. We just walked through. It might be a bit loud. We walked through a really nice hotel, come to the beach, and then if you just walk down the beach, there's loads of nice just drink places, beach clubs. Um, and yeah, I just spotted this one with all the wooden furniture. It just obviously looked aesthetically pleasing to my eyes. So I was like, oh, why don't we go in there for a drink? So yeah, here we are. My Diet Coke was 100 baht. Which, is that how you say it? Baht? Baht. 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 <laughs> um, which is like £2.20. And your coffee was about... Huh? Your coffee was only 120 Maybe my extra for us, maybe like 20 thing oh, for a syrup. syrup. I'd say 150 maximum, so that's like what, nearly three pounds? Oh, friendship bracelets, I think we should get one. What about you? They do look very nice. Pizza with pineapple mm -hmm. on. Can't wait. I'm done. I've done so much that means. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I love pizza and pineapple. Looks nice, though. Good evening. 
So tonight we are finally taking a trip to Bang. Is it? Was it Bangla Road? We're gonna experience Bangla Road. I mean, we have already experienced it in the daytime, and no, no I know. I'm just saying that like, we walked down there in the daytime, so mm. we're no stranger to what it's like mm. and what it looks like. But yeah, Mitchell is very eager to actually I'm experience excited. Bangla Road at night. I feel like everyone do say when you come to Thailand, Phuket. You have to kind of just yeah. go there and just see how crazy and everything mm. is. So even though, like I've said before, it's not personally a place that I would choose to stay and go every night. I mean, no, I've not been, but I can just tell it's not somewhere I want to go every night. Mm. Wouldn't you? I don't know. It's fun. What, when do you, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how tonight goes. Mr. Fun, when, when do you ever want to go we'll in there? We'll see how tonight on goes. The, when do you want to go on the piss every night? Never after last night. <laughs> I um, convinced, I don't even know if I feel doing guys properly about last night, but yeah, I convinced Mitchell to go to the bar across the road after the football. Um, oh wait, one second, we need to do our picture and I'll lift. I'll continue this conversation in a minute. Outfit of the night. Outfit of the day. So, continuing the conversation on, after we'd been to a sports bar all evening. I think you did it for a moment. Okay, well I'm just going to let you know again. I obviously convinced Mitchell to go to the bar across the road and then... We um, was watching football and there was bangers on all night and Laura was like, Can you hear that song? Can you hear that song? Oh, I'm going there later. Oh, I'm going there later. Oh, I'm going there. You're going there. So I went. You said one drink and then what time did we roll in? I think it was in Birkin about two in the morning, right? <laughs> yeah. It was a good night though, I'm glad we did it. By the time we got home and that, it was like, oh, three, four. I oh. can't remember it being that late, it was. but I'm... anyway, it was bags of fun, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good. So I'm glad we did it. We had, we've not had a drink today, we've just had to and coffees. I mean, you didn't really eat much until, well, you've obviously had something to eat now. Pizza. But I had like breakfast, so I had to have an acai bowl. When I, when I went hung over, I don't get drunk. Uh, well, I don't get hungry, I just get really thirsty. Yeah. yeah they're having a um, battle right there, aren't they? What's that? It's electric car Oh. Yeah, no, the, well, the thing is, sometimes I don't feel hungry. No. But I just, I wanted something refreshing, and then acai bowls are so nice. Like, smoothie on the bottom, then you can put your toppings. I've never had them before. It's waiting for us. Who is? The Christmas tree. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, just to give you a brief summary of what we're doing tonight, we're going to go to Bangtao Beach. We went there today. No, we're going for food. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Bangtao. Bangtao Beach. Near Bangtao. Beach. It's and then, on the beach front, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, oh yeah, of course. Yeah, so we're going Bangtao Beach food. We went there earlier. So nice. Just love it down there. So, yeah, we found a really nice restaurant. Well, I hope. It's got good reviews and it's on the beach, like I say. We're going to go there for some food and then we're going into the craziness later on. Bang and then we're moving to hotels tomorrow. Yeah, it's all happening, guys. It's all crazy. Oh, do you know what? I didn't tell you guys what happened last night. You might have noticed I had an outfit change. What? I didn't tell, they didn't see what happened to my outfit last well, night. Shit Had an outfit you know. change. So me and Mitchell was walking all the way to the restaurant, got like halfway, and obviously it had been raining so heavy. I'd got flip flops on, a white dress, and what had basically been happening without me realising is that my flip flops were mm. splashing up mush shit all up. on the back of my dress. Oh my goodness, goodness. Oh my goodness, I should have shown you my dress. It was filthy. I was like, I've got a tone, man, I can't go out like this. So we came all the way back, and then got, got changed, tuk -tuk. and then we got tuk-tuk, and it was so fun, wasn't it? We should it? probably should have got tuk-tuk to start with. Yeah, it was a bit of a trek, what we were doing anyway. And it was just Pitch so wet. wet from being... Wet, dark. Like, chucking it down. Yeah. Right, what are we doing now? Drink, drink. Oh, drinking here, okay, cool. This is the um, hotel restaurant. It's really nice. So we've just got to the restaurant that I really randomly came across. I don't even know how I found it to be fair. I don't actually, where did I find this? Oh, yeah. I feel like it's not long opened and it's on the beach front. It is stunning, it's isn't it? The end of the beach, isn't like it? the very end. I feel like that guy didn't even know this was here, did he? No. Not like the taxi right. drive. But yeah, you're literally on the beach. That is the view right now. Honestly, how stunning is that? It's and then this is the restaurant itself. It's all on sand, isn't it? It's literally on the beach. It's so nice. How nice is it? Yeah. And I've also gone for a beer tonight. <laughs> the cocktails were a little bit expensive here. I mean, they were, they're still like standard price. Yeah, but when these are 90, 
Nine two bar is it? One eight, yeah. One eight bottle. It's just I thought I'd just try one. Yeah, in the old. Try, I'm spirit. trying to be a beer person. I'm, I'm not normally a beer person, but I'm going to try and enjoy try, beer. I'll try on okay, let me get. So what's it called? A tiger. A tiger. Let's try the tiger. Mm, it's quite smooth, isn't it? You should send a photo to her. Oh yeah. Um. Anyway, I've just ordered. What have I ordered? We've had spring rolls. Spring rolls We've had to chicken, start. Cashews. You've gone for a, a, a Thai curry. A, a, what was it? A yeah, a Penang curry or something. A fried chicken. Yeah, it's got. That, yeah, it sounds nice. So I think you'll like that. Anyway, over and out. We're going to enjoy our evening before we go to madness. <laughs> this is just me. I could do this and go back, but mm. no, Mitchell's dragging me to the madness. Okay, dinner has arrived. Look how good this looks. That me, or is that came out really great? It's so nice. Can you see the fire things over there? because we are actually at the elephant sanctuary this morning in Phuket. I feel like if you don't already know a lot of these elephant sanctuaries in Thailand will class themselves as ethical but actually from the research I did if you are bathing with them if you're like touching them riding them anything like that that's actually not ethical so this one you obviously still get to see the elephants and everything but it's more like in their natural habitat there's lots of like acres of land for them to like roam free. I think you still get to feed them, but there's no bathing and there's no, do you know what I mean? Like nothing unethical. So yeah, so excited to be here this morning. It is beautiful. Sun's actually came out today as well. So that's really nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's <laughs> Um But yeah, first impressions of this elephant sanctuary is lovely. You actually can get yourself some breakfast. There's like a little breakfast station over there. They've got all free drinks out, toast, all the snacks, all complimentary. Um, so I'm just having some marmalade on toast because we've not had any breakfast yet and I feel so hungry. But yeah, I'm not really sure what the POA is. It doesn't start until 10. So like I say, you can just sit here, have a bit of refreshment. Um, we've had to also change into, oh, what's going on with my necklace? Wellies. Lost the, lost the selfie stick again already, haven't we? You are. Um, it's another humid day. Actually, I don't need that one just yet. Yeah, another humid day, isn't it? How warm is it? Mm -hmm. I feel, look, see all this sweat on my face. I just feel so, like, constantly just sticky and sweaty. This is the current view of the elephant park. Updated you guys. It's been a chaotic morning. I easily could have just 
gone back to that hotel and just slept on them little bean bags mm. until the room was ready. So basically, we went to the Elephant Sanctuary this morning, which was amazing, wasn't it? So such a good, good. experience. So glad we've done Such a good that. time. Yeah, really, really glad we've done that. And I didn't realise. Well, I didn't book it, so you probably realised, didn't you? But you had food. <laughs> All food and drinks were included, yeah. So I feel like it was quite worth the All money good for it. Drinks as well. It was and breakfast. We paid seventy pounds for the morning. Yeah. But like me and Mitchell said, it's like a once in a lifetime opportunity. You got breakfast, all free drinks as well. Like as soon as you got there, there was refreshments that you could have. Um and also, yeah, like Mitchell said, you could have breakfast too. So yeah, I think it was really good. But also, anyway, it was good. we then got a taxi back, which is about half an hour away to the hotel. Got to the hotel, but the room still isn't available until oh, two. Much these are scary, can we walk up a little bit? Um, yeah, the room isn't available to check in until 2. So it was like, do we just chill and wait around until 2 or do we actually just get out and do something else? We wasn't too sure if we were going to come and do Monkey Hill just because apparently just it's a little look, bit chaotic. They look scary. Yeah, Mitchell's a bit scared. Um, I was a monkey, I was a monkey in my past life. Oh my god, I can see them all right there. But yeah, in, in the end, we're just like, do you know what? Again, we're only here once, let's just go and do it. And it's like, only 10 minutes from the hotel. Experience, yeah, it's really close to the hotel as well. Um, so yeah, that's the update, that's where we are. Our hotel, by the way, looks really nice too. Yeah, little, just what's it called? Boat, boutique, boutique hotel. Boutique. We can see our first monkeys. Just checking in. We're nearly approaching the top of Monkey Hill. Why can't we ever just be normal? Just checking in while we're still alive. I know. Why can't we just ever be normal? I was literally ready to just spend the rest of my afternoon jumping in the pool and chilling. But Mitchell here decided to take us up another map. To it. I, didn't fact, it, I didn't think it was bad. <sighs> So it's 35 degrees. 35 degrees and we are climbing a steep incline mountain. I just said to Mitchell, I am so lucky that my asthma has improved because like, there's no chance I would have been able to do this eight weeks ago. I think, honestly, I think I'd have actually had an asthma attack. I've got my nail over my back so I'm, my tan is rolling off me because I'm dripping. It's disgusting. I need to shower and get it off. Guys, you're never gonna believe it. You can't kind of walk in for like an extra five minutes, did you say? Probably the hardest five minutes. <laughs> and we thought it was coming to the viewpoint to realise that where we just stopped five minutes early was the viewpoint. <gasps> and that was a big steep hill as well. Yeah. You might be able to show them in a minute. That's probably why them lads came down so quick. <laughs> you did say that, didn't you? Why they're coming down so quick. <laughs> just feel At least there is a little like shack Look at the hill. There. Show them the hill. Honestly, <laughs> we're gonna get some cold water from the shack, I think, or yeah, I just wanna chuck some over me, to be honest with you. Hey guys, we finally got to our room. <laughs> Oh, let's see what it's all about. So this room was £45 a night. What's this? This is fun. Oh. Welcome oh. to Ratchet and Trushy. Okay, so this is the room. Nice and modern. All the vibes. Bed's massive, babe. I swear the bed looks bigger than the one before, don't you? It's a king bed. Yeah, it's a really big. That seems like a super king, That's isn't it? It's not, that looks big. It's two doubles pushed together. Uh, so um, and then if I just go and show you the bathroom, <laughs> toilet, sink, and then shower <gasps> is in there. Oh my god, babe. Yeah. <laughs> I can see the bedroom from here. Okay, quick outfit change. I'm gonna go down to the pool now. Um, you need it. Oh, I just need to jump in that pool. I think I'm gonna wash my hair tonight anyway. So yeah, my head is going under and I'm gonna do a cannonball. <laughs> you can look
back. Finally got my hair down this evening. I hope not I'm feeling about it though. I just feel like, you know when it's so humid and you wear your hair down, it just feels like hot and then it just loses its style. Anyway, tonight we are exploring the, well, I say we're exploring the old town, we're not. We're just gonna go through a mooch, but it's our first mooch in the old town because as you know, saw today, we literally just went straight to the elephant sanctuary, then we went up the monkey hill, come back to the hotel. It's been a hectic one. So yeah, we're gonna go and have a little mooch and see what the old town of Phuket is all about go for a drink we saw on tiktok didn't we a harry potter bar yeah it's like an harry potter themed bar i don't think it's our proper i think someone i don't actually think it we is we're going to see like ron weasley right no but i just feel like someone's just it's going to be vibe like an harry potter vibe yeah but if someone just said that or they actually made the bar to be like harry potter <laughs> so yeah we're going to go to that bar first of all and then i don't know where i'm going to eat i don't know we'll just go with the flow I mean, we had a little bit of lunch. I say lunch, obviously we had all that pad thai and that food, the thing, it, what was that? That was like an in-between course. Because we technically had lunch at half 12 at the thing. Yeah, but then we, had, we had, then we had a snack at about four at the hotel, didn't we? we had a yeah, burger, well it wasn't a snack, it was another dinner you had. I mean, mine wasn't that big. I'd have this like, these little fish pieces and mm. it was about full chips, like big fat chip things. Mitchell had a Katsu, big burger Katsu, and Katsu, curry burger. chips. You basically had a meal. But to be fair, we, it's been thirsty work today. Like, there's a lot been going on, hasn't there? We need to do calories. I, yeah, I feel like. And to be fair, we don't normally eat much in the day, no. do we, really? So, it's probably, yeah. Anyway, we're in a pretty little thing dress, not really too sure about it. I never wear pink. One of the pink to instinct. <laughs> anyway, let's go. <laughs> For a curry, cause we love curry. We do love curry, don't we? Yeah. Going for a curry, I've gone add for a, gone for a couple of drinks. And you'll find this cute little Indian spot in ya. I don't know if it's cute or what. It's got bloody good reviews. Oh sorry, my two shots. Little, little little young little girl, aren't you? If you can hold the camera yourself, you know, I'm holding two cameras in. Nah. Trying to get the content. Wait. Hey. That we get one chance, one chance. 